The electrocardiogram, or ECG, or EKG, is a measurement of tiny potential differences on the surface of the body that reflect the electrical activity of the heart. These potential differences, or voltages, are measurable on the body surface because of the timing and sequence of depolarization and repolarization of the heart. Recall that the entire myocardium is not depolarized at once. The atria depolarize first, and then the ventricles depolarize next. As a result of the sequence and timing of the spread of depolarization and repolarization in the myocardium, potential differences are established between different portions of the heart, which can be detected by electrodes placed on the body surface. The P wave represents depolarization of the atria. The duration of the P wave correlates with conduction time through the atria. For example, if conduction velocity through the atria decreases, the P wave will spread out. Atrial repolarization is not seen on a normal EKG because it is buried under the QRS complex. The PR interval is the time from initial depolarization of the atria to initial depolarization of the ventricles. And so the PR interval includes the P wave and the PR segment which is this isoelectric flat portion of the ECG which corresponds to AV nodal conduction. Because the PR interval includes the PR segment, it also correlates with electrical conduction time through the AV node. Normally, the PR interval is less than 200 milliseconds, which is the cumulative time from first depolarization of the atria to first depolarization of the ventricles. Increases in conduction velocity through the AV node decrease the PR interval. Take for example increases in sympathetic tone. On the other hand, decreases in conduction velocity through the AV node will increase the PR interval. Another example would be increasing the parasympathetic tone. The QRS complex consists of three waves. Q, R, and S. Collectively, these waves represent depolarization of the ventricles. Note that the total duration of the QRS complex is similar to that of the P wave. This is, in fact, surprising since the ventricles are so much larger than the atria. However, the ventricles depolarize just as quickly as the atria because conduction velocity through the His-Purkinje system is much faster than the atrial conducting system. The T wave represents repolarization of the ventricles. Going back to atrial repolarization, remember that this cannot be seen because it is buried within the QRS complex. The QT interval includes the QRS complex, the ST segment, and the T wave, and represents the first ventricular depolarization to last ventricular repolarization. The ST segment is an isoelectric portion of the QT interval that correlates with the plateau phase of the ventricular action potential. Alright, so that was it for EKG basics. I hope you liked the video. If you did, leave a like below or a comment. And be sure to subscribe or check out my channel for similar videos.